Johnson, they've had a scrap. That's looking out the back of Jonesy's car. Johnny Bow, what's this thing skate around? It looks like a shark ready to attack there. It's um, he's certainly moving in. It's um, you know, just like a piece of string. It's closing and, and going away and closing, but he just hasn't got that little something to get right onto Jonesy to intimidate him. And uh, AJ's looking, at, I think, very comfortable where he is. This is his view from outside the car as he blasts his way up around Narrow Neck. They hook back here left now. This is a little tight section here. It's a lot tighter than it looks on television. They work their way back to the Gold Coast Highway. Again he goes left. Now it comes round right. See the car? A lot tighter than it looks when you're looking out the windscreen. Oh, and, and uh, when you get around the track, it's straight seems so short. But um, uh, you see those lines on the windscreen there? That's a heated demister like you get on the back of your normal car on the front of these cars. Two years ago at Bathurst, the weather was so bad we couldn't see out any of the cars. We now have these demisters on the front screen. So if it's foggy inside, we just turn them on and it's clear as a bell. That's where Waldock crashed right there. Jonesy blasting past the comments. This is the Gold Coast Highway under the FAI big sign there. Through the chicane he comes. Exactly the same time that time round for Jones and Bow, so they're certainly both having a big go. And uh, John Bow's running out of time. Three laps to go. Bowie just stalking AJ at the moment. The view from AJ's car. Bow's got the lights on. I'm here, AJ. I'm coming at you. Jonesy says, catch me if you can. Down they come under the brakes, through the A&A corner, up this little short straight. Plenty of power here. Jones looks good. Now he'll hook back onto the beach front again. Isn't this a great circuit? Fantastic place. I mean, everyone enjoys coming up here every year. The circuit's great to race on. The atmosphere's fantastic. Look at the view. You couldn't ask for any more. I noticed there on the screen that Scaife's got piped past Mazera, and he's up to fifth. This has been a drive from Scaife, has it? He's come from 18th to 5th. He's right in behind Johnson. There he is now. Mark Skate. What a drive. He had an accident yesterday. They bumped him back to the back of the grid. He's gone past Thomas Mazira in the mobile uh, telecom holding right behind him. This is Mark Skate. Now we're back with James Alita. That's Jimmy Richards. That's Dick Johnson. And that's Skate, but he's closing. He's certainly driving that thing hard. And, of course, our tyre battle today is Bridgestone, Dunlop, Yokohama. And, uh, you know, the cars are even. They've... they've played with these rules for a couple of years to get them as close as they can with the spoiler kits and it seems today that the tyres are all very close too. Now they come to this uh, pretty part of the circuit here, high rise buildings, people hanging off balconies. It almost gives you the impression of Monaco this place now, there's so many people supporting the event, they're hanging off the balconies of the high rise, jammed in round the beach, it's a wonderful, wonderful sight. The waterway, and that's what we're looking at here. And all of those balconies, all of those verandas are stacked with people having motor racing parties. Gee, it's a good atmosphere here. Get in next year if you missed it this time round. There's the Marriott where we're staying at. Here's Josie. He's not staying anywhere. He said, let me go. And uh, Richo's actually closing in on these two a little bit. And um, it's interesting that uh, he's doing that. The Yokohama tie's obviously coming good towards the end of this uh, race. We've got a message from the pits that Kevin Wall that says he uh, was hit by Neil Crompton. He's not very happy about the whole incident. Brad Jones, you can relate to that. Well, I wasn't all that happy with Charlie O'Brien, but I bet Kevin's got a fairly savage headache. It doesn't feel nice when you hit the wall that hard. You've got a bit of a one yourself. Well, yeah, I guess everyone sees it differently, but uh, it'll be interesting to watch a replay. Down they come now again. AJ has put in a spirited drive every time Johnny Bow's got close he's put the power down again and gone away just that car length or two Jimmy Richards has finally broken away from Dick Johnson now he's putting some pressure on Johnny Bow oh, oh there's Jones, he's gone off I don't believe it, he's gone off he's got half the tyre barrier under the car oh he won't be happy AJ and he's definitely not going anywhere That just uh, come that off wheel. the circuit and look at that. Well, after such a great drive and building a lead twice after the restart, he's come off the circuit and uh, a smoky wreck. I don't know that he has come off the circuit there, Darrell. Here we go. He's brushed the wall yeah. there. Cross into the tyres over the chicane. He's just, just turned in a little bit too early. And look at that tyre. He certainly won't be continuing onwards, but um, bad luck. He was driving so well. He's just kissed the wall as he's hit the apex of that corner and he's off. Well, Johnny Bow's in front. Now, 
Jimmy Richards, there's AJ. Oh, won't be happy. This will be a terrible place this afternoon when he comes back. Let me tell you, he gets cranky. Right in the last level, oh, he'll give everyone a mouthful. He will not stop. He'll give himself the biggest mouthful. All right, Johnny Bell lifted up his skirts and doing some dancing now. Down he comes. There's Brock's car. Whoa, they've got to be careful there. Jimmy Richards throwing out a challenge. Can he get there on the last lap? It's now the two shell cars, the FAI cars, now a one and three. The Whitfield come out on the second. And uh, you know, Richard's having a great day, isn't he? Winning the NASCAR race, closing on John Bow here. He's um, he's bouncing off every curb, so he's certainly having a go. Johnny Bow inherited the lead, of course. He won here yesterday in the in the uh, 22 lapper. He was delighted about that. He was able to save his tyres a bit because he built up a lead, and it's paid dividends now. Very disappointing for Jonesy. I really don't think that JB was going to get past him, but. Um, that's racing, as they say, and uh, JB's in the front. Mark Scape up to four from 18th. There'd been a few returns. Oh, Jimmy Richards, you don't see him do the lawnmower bit, the big bit too often. I'd say he's running a little short on brakes. This place is unbelievably hard on those, and, of course, the NASCARs are 300 kilos heavier than these, and we run out of brakes quick, quite rapidly. And, of course, you know, near the end of this race, they're all having a go, and Richards just break them all the there's Mark Scape in fourth place from 18th. I reckon that's been a super drive. But Rich, Rich is really having a big go. I very rarely see him really get off the, the hard stuff onto the loose stuff. But he is throwing everything into it. Here they come around. His clothes is on. Johnny Bow. Can Johnny Bow have enough front in the Falcon now to hold him out? Only a couple of corners before they hit the big straight. Richard's oh, right up behind him now. Now it's a drag race out. Johnny Bow gets the... Uh, the lead's going. Now Richards comes at him. He'll sit in the drive and try and slingshot his way through. Here he comes. Richards. Richards, Johnny Bow by half a car length. Oh, what about that? The group is here. Sensational. Great race. I mean, Richo threw everything he could at him at the end of the race there. And uh, um, JB just kept his calm, got on the throttle, coming onto the straight. Unless he missed a gear or something, um, you know, he had it in the bag. And... Uh, um, great drive, JB. Bit unlucky for Jonesy, though. Fabulous drive from uh, John John Bow.